referees here on Thai Fight is Dr. So Wang with the All right, so the first bout of a scheduled nine bouts this evening here on Thai Fight. I keep wanting to say Thai Fight League. <laughs> <laughs> so used to that, right? Exactly. An international female bout of 57 kilograms, Thailand versus Iran. That's right, and it's at 57 kilograms. So about three kilograms bigger than what Vasai is actually used to fighting. I was about to say, you going to say, three kilograms more than me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not anywhere near me, though. When you fought, what weight did you usually fight at? That was 68 kilograms. 68, wow. That was a long time ago. You should be fighting Sunshine now, then. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what we fought, and this is what we're getting now from Zara. Applying the pressure to far side, making it uncomfortable. And let's not forget the pressure. When she fought Vero, no pressure on far side whatsoever. But now, as she is the representative of what is the Thai fight team, there's a lot of expectation on far side shoulders. She has to perform. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, of course, with Thai fight, you, you want to entertain the fans as well. And sometimes the fighters don't have that style. Yeah. Now, I think you're right, Farsa is not... There, you can see the referee already saying she has to push. You can't really say that to Zara, who's been all Farsa on the back foot. Exactly, she's putting in the effort, she's putting in the, the work. Good kick there from Farsa, though, landing to the midsection. Yeah, Zara going down low, but this is where Zara likes what's to do. She likes to apply that pressure, likes to make it a little bit scrappy. She likes to make her opponent feel uncomfortable. You have to work hard against Zara. But you notice on the last high fight league matchup that Vera, uh, oh. I was about to say Vera, but Farsai had. Oh, good left hand there. She Farsai, she's found an opening, something that Zara's struggling to defend. And what we know about Farsai, if she does find a technique that works, she will utilize it over and over again. So yeah, keep exactly watching right. that left hand of hers. Do you remember on the Thai fight league last time, I mean, she tried to put so much combinations together, she tried to put her boxing together, but ultimately went back to the style that works for her. Beautiful kick to the midsection once again from Farsai. And now she knows that perhaps not a good idea for Zara to exchange kicks with her. Indeed. Intriguing up. Well, let's have a look at the highlights from round number one. Beautiful tip there from Zara. Close round, and we thought exactly how we predicted they would do. Zara was being the aggressor, gonna make it uncomfortable for Farsai. Farsai was looking to counter strike. I mean, based on the highlights, Zara might have taken the round. You very know what? Close. Based on what you said, yes, very, very close. But no one really stood out in that round. No. And, and I know this is so taboo, but is it a nine-nine round. <laughs> no, ten-ten. <laughs> but harsh. I see what you went for there, Aaron. Interesting thing is though, you can see people in the chat. Welcome everybody to the Thai Fight International YouTube channel, but everyone in the chat is actually about oh, fast size techniques. Now, if you want Smash Mouth Muay Thai catch, you will get that throughout tonight. Oh, definitely. So this is actually a nice change of pace from what you will see here tonight. That's right, More before, technical. before Aaron and I start losing our voices. <laughs> exactly. Nice left kick. Farsai now taking it to Zara. Being more aggressive in this round already, but Zara seems like she's happy with that. And that's the sort of fight that Zara wants. Yeah. She wants Farsai to be aggressive. She wants Farsai to exchange punches. Why? Because Zara knows that she's better when it comes to that department. She's forcing now Farsai to move back. So you see the rap. Right, trying to outstrength each other right now. A little bit of a back and forth in that department. A good technique there, a good balance from Farsai, scoring a lot of points in that knee exchange. Oh, inside car kick there. Oh, looking for that left hand again, grabs the leg. Oh, that was a beautiful pull and kick there from Farsai. So accurate with her shots. She's got a lot of technical ability, she really has. I think Farsai has a walk in now. Yeah, we need to see more from Zara in this round. Yeah, definitely. Oh, left hook, better there from Zara, but once again, she's another left hand. Good left knee to the body there from Zara. Now she is attacking. She is pushing forward. 
but she's not scoring with her strikes. Quite honestly, I was hoping Fasai got a warning there for holding on to the top of Zara. Oh, spinning back kick! That might have actually connected to the left side of the body there. Might have stunned Fasai momentarily. I tell you what, Fasai stopped in her tracks just for a moment. So definitely could have had an effect just now. No, if you're Farsai, sorry, if you're Zara, go back to the body. Test the waters. Let's find out if it did take a toll. Taking some deep. Oh, good left high kick there from Farsai. Once again, Zara looking to spear her opponent. It's a good takedown though, but <laughs> unfortunately. She's, Zara's got that spirit. She's got the aggression, but she's got to channel it into strikes. End of round number two. Well, let's take a look at the highlights from round number two. See, Zara uh, dumping Farsai down on a few occasions, but I feel like it was a better round for Farsai overall. Yeah, I have she to scored, agree with you. She scored more. Simple as that. As simple as that, yeah, exactly. Good with the knees, good with the kicks. Let's see the high kick, hopefully, on the highlights. There it is. Yeah, probably the shot of the round. Of course, Zara tried that spinning back kick that we did see as well. That we're still contemplating whether that actually did take an effect on far side. Stops from her tracks. <laughs> and final round. I'm giving it far side to, for round number two. I'm not sure about round number one. I would have just got a 10 10 if I was yeah, a judge. I'm with you. So we're saying far side is up right now. Zara needs to win this round at least to take it to an extension round. Huge aggression now from Zara. Exactly what she needs to do. You gotta wonder, can Farsai keep up with the pace of Zara? Because what we know about Zara is that once she, ah. keeps, once she gets going, she really does. I think that's the second time Zara extended the hand. Oh! oh! There's that spinning, spinning back kick. And that time that did hurt Farsai. And then she jumps into the clinch. That's a mistake. I, I believe so as well because we know how good Farsai really is in the clinch. And we've seen it already in this match. When you hurt someone like that, separate. Try and get more strikes in. A little sneaky elbow there by Farsai. That was cute. And Let there it is, that turn and knee to the midsection. That's that's what's going to win that exchange for Farsai. Absolutely, and that's what pretty much won of the fight against Vero. Exactly, if he shows control. Shows dominance, good team to the face there from Zara Zara trying to do the exact same thing. And I think it's fair to say that Farsai has found the winning formula against Zara Shikugi. Yeah, and Zara, she keeps looking to a corner now for some advice. Oh, good left hook there, stinging by Zara. There it is again though, she struggles to separate. It's just one shot. She needs to try and put some, at least some combinations together. Hey, that's better. Left right there, left kick from Zara. There we go again, back into the clinch. And it's not scoring her any points whatsoever. Yeah, it's been, been a bit of a scrappy round so far. But when Zara's on the outside, I mean, she does score. Yeah, and some of the people in the chat are saying that Zara may be coming from a Taekwondo background. I'd have to agree, especially with those spinning techniques. Good D there from far side, and again, Smile on the face there of the tie. I mean, you can see the confidence growing on Farsai right now. She knows she's ahead. Oh, big team. What a what? way to end the round. I didn't even hear the bell, <laughs> but there you go. Well, there you have it. End of three rounds. The first bout this evening here on a tie fight. Very hot. Just to let you know, you can see the sweat dripping off these fighters. It's still very humid here in Uttaradit. <laughs> Might play effect earlier on this evening. Let's have a look at the highlights. Oh, just grazing the face there on far side, but there was a grimace. Like there was in round number two from a spinning back kick to the body. The far side, I felt, just was more in control of the fight than Zara was throughout the entire fight, really. Zara had a moment, but overall, I do think Farsai just did the right things at the right times. She 
she will probably claim the victory tonight, but you never know. All right, what do you think in the chat? Great to see you all. It's Farsai. Or did Zara take this one? ขาวหรือดำครับขาวหรือดำเมลอนครับ The Winner ขอแสดงความยินดีกับผู้ชนะนะครับและเป็นกําลังใจให้กับผู้ที่พ่ายแพ้ไปในวันนี้เป็นเป็นไรเพราะว่าหลายคู่ท่านต่อยสนุกเ